What is up, obscure Mike people? Bark coming at you yet again. And we're going to check out a condenser today. And the baseline condenser that it will be compared to is the Rode NT1 fourth gen. This is the NT1 that everyone has known and loved as a great budget condenser all throughout history. So that's going to be the baseline mic for the OnStage AS800, currently retailing for about 90 bucks on most online music boutiques. Should we take a look at it? We should probably take a look at it. So the mic comes in a nice plastic carrying case. When you open said carrying case, you're instantly going to see that you get a shock mount of the squeezy variety. You're going to get a foam windscreen, a 5.8 to 3.8 adapter, a carrying bag with the on stage branding, and inside that, you're going to get the on stage AS800 microphone. Large diaphragm capsule, not one of those electrets hiding inside of a, a microphone claiming to be a large condenser. It is actually a large condenser with good weight. Uh, the build is what you expect. It's, it's one of these BM800-ish like bodies, but it does feel pretty good. It doesn't feel overly cheap. Just to get a look at the internals, it is going to be similar to a lot of MXL and other Chinese microphones that you have come to know and love. And you do have what is a high pass filter switch in there. Again, 90 bucks for all this. Let's get it hooked up, see how it compares to the NT1 and see if it sounds any good. And this is the AS800 from on stage. And honestly, the, the very first thing that comes to mind is like, this is not an overly bright microphone. It's bright. I mean, it, it's definitely bright. You can definitely hear that extended top in, but honestly, it sounds pretty good. So let's go ahead and go back and forth a few times between the AS800 and the Rode NT1, just to make sure what we're hearing now is uh, quality wise, you know, decent in comparison to the NT1. I'm on the NT1 now and honestly, I'm kind of impressed. NT1, this is what it sounds like. AS800, this is what it sounds like. $90 and discontinued. I'm going to stay on the AS800 for a minute. Again, this is a $90 microphone. Granted, you can find this used cheaper, of course. I got mine for like 25 bucks, brand new in the package, good to go. And I am quite impressed. I thought this would be a lot brighter and a lot more harsh and brittle up top, but it's really not bad at all. One more time, this is the AS800 and this is the Rode NT1. The Rode NT1, definitely a little smoother and a little flatter, but that doesn't mean the AS800 is lacking in quality. It actually sounds really quite good and I am very surprised at this moment. I'm sure the self noise is a big difference. I think we've confirmed that the AS800 sounds pretty decent. So we'll get rid of the uh, Rode NT1 here and we'll move forward with the tests. We'll also, uh, first and foremost, we will put a windscreen on it just to see if it cuts down the top end just a little bit. Not that it needs to come down much. I think it sounds pretty decent, but that is also a pretty thick windscreen. So with the windscreen on, I definitely hear just a little bit of the sizzle up top tamed a little bit. It doesn't do a whole lot, but it does do something. While it's on, let's go ahead and do plosives. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle pineapple pizza. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle pineapple pizza. The windscreen definitely helps the plosives. Not that I know what the plosives are because I haven't done that test, but Peter Piper, Peter Piper, not much plosive activity coming through this microphone. I want to also say that is a very tough windscreen to put on and off. It is tight. Felt a little girthy getting inside that thing. It was just really stretchy and it just, you can tell it hasn't been used a lot. 
I am a dirty old man. Dirty old man. Bad. Bad obscure Mike's guy. Let's do the plosives now that the windscreen's gone. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pineapple pizza. That windscreen did a lot for this microphone. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pineapple pizza. Still not bad, though. Now when you get right on top of the AS800 from on stage, this is what it sounds like when you use that proximity effect to your advantage and get right on top of the AS800. Now we're going to do some off-axis rejection. I'm talking into the front of the mic, and we're going to turn it 90 degrees. And this is talking into the microphone at 90 degrees off axis, 180 degrees. This is what it sounds like when you're talking into the rear, screaming right up the rear of the onstage AS800. Now to the other 90 degree angle. This is what it sounds like. And then finally back at the front of the microphone, onstage AS800. Comes in a carrying case with a windscreen, with a squeezy mount. It's goldish, kind of something looking and honestly uh using the nt1 from road as a baseline condenser mic actually think this held its own like legitimately i really do think it sounds good though like that's not bad at all again i am certain that the self noise on this microphone is higher than the nt1 i think that goes without saying i want to say this was 17 dba whereas the nt1 if memory serves me correctly was more like seven and I can definitely hear that a little bit when I toggle back and forth between them, but it's not a deal breaker. It's not anything that I think I would actually care that much about. I mean, depending on the use case you're using it for, room ambience most often outweighs self-noise of a microphone. Most often, not all the time, but 90 bucks on stage holding its own and on the BBSAR. I'm going to give it. First word came out wrong. I was like, um, um, I'm going to give it a score. I'm going to give it a score of a seven. I honestly think it's good. I think it's worth buying, especially if you can find it used. Not saying that it's going to be like the end all microphone for you, but in my opinion, it actually sounds a lot better than I thought it was going to sound. It's pretty good. I kind of like the way my voice sounds on it even. It's got a nice full low end. It's got a nice crisp and bright modern top end. The mids, tiny bit scooped, not much. They're still there. This is a pretty well balanced microphone. I definitely like it better with the windscreen on just to take off a little bit of the sizzle up top. But again, the sizzle up top, as small as it is, it's not offending me in any way. It's not rattly. It's not rusty feeling. It, it just sounds pretty good. This was a shocker to me. This is actually highly, highly usable. And again, you will find this because it's called on stage. You will find this cheaper than the $90 it costs new. But if you insist on new for 90 bucks, definitely worth a buy. I don't know if I would like rank it above other mics at 90 bucks. There's a lot of competition there. But again, last time I'll say it used you can most definitely find this thing for under 50 bucks. Shouldn't be difficult. Probably on Guitar Center or Musician's Friend used. Just find a nice looking copy of it and uh, yeah, use it. It's definitely solid. Obscure Mics. The onstage AS800 is out of here. Bark, third person. That's me. I'm out of here. Thanks for watching another one. Peace out.